As you guys all know, Shen, Pao, and Dragonite is taking over the meta in Series 3. I've used it a couple times, and we're going to be using it today. But this time, we got a little bit something different with this team. We got Shen, Pao, and Dragonite, and then we also have Shen, Pao, and Huge Power Azumarill. This one's going to be fun. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But other three Pokemon that we have on the scene is going to be Doxbun for a little bit of off-meta spice, Chiyu, and Fluttermane. Like I said, it's going to be fun. Hopefully, we can grab some wins for you guys. Chiyu is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. It's got the Beads of Ruin and the Choice Scarf to pretty much make it outspeed every single Pokemon. It's got Lava Plume to pair up with that Doxbun, and it's got Heat Wave, Snarl, and Dark Pulse for its other three moves. Doxbun is going to be our second Pokemon. Like I said, nice little off meta spice, which is going to be fun with the well big body ability. It's got leftovers to recover HP, protect, protect, body press, yawn, and wish. Fluttermane is going to be our third Pokemon. You guys already seen the power of Chiyu and Fluttermane. We're going to be doing it again here in today's video, hopefully just destroying our opponents with it. It's got Protosynthesis, the booster energy as its item, and it's got Protect, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, and Parish Song. Shen Pal, like we already mentioned, is going to be a star of this team. It's got Sword of Ruin and the Focus Hatch as its item, then rocking pretty much its best moveset, Protect, Throat Chop, Sucker Punch, and Ice Spinner. You really can't go wrong with this Pokemon when it's built that way. We got Dragonite as our fifth Pokemon with the Flying Terror type, not the normal E Speed, but this Pokemon's still rocking E Speed. It's got Multi Scale and a Clear Amulet, Protect, E Speed, Terra Blast, and Iron Head. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Azumarill over here. Huge Power already gives it a boost in physical attack. I think it doubles its damage. And then paired up with Chen Pao, all the defense is going to be dropped. Azumarill is going to be able to do some crazy damage. It's got Lumberry, Protect, Aqua Jet for first turn priority, Liquidation, and Play Rough for two heavy hitting stat moves. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with the Shen Pal, Dragonite, and Azumarill team. Hopping into our first matchup, we're going up against a pretty cool team, right? They got Dragonite and Shen Pal just like us, but then they also got Lilgent and Torkoal with Fluttermane and Ting Lu. So this one seems like we're getting the best of both worlds. We almost have every single Legends of Ruin Pokemon in this battle. We have three out of the four. We're missing Wochan. Kind of sad. I love the little slug guy or the big slug guy, whatever you want to call him. But how should we play this one? How should we go into it? I think Chiyu is going to be amazing with the Choice Scarf here. He can outspeed most. Um, I am scared of the Logan. That could be a problem. But I might just want to go into like E Speed Dragonite if that's an option. Right? That could be good. I could also go into Shen Pao. I do like Shen Pao here. I kind of like going Shen Pao and Chiyu. I'm not even going to lie. Just for like the first turn priorities and the crazy damage, I really like it for some reason. And I'm gonna do it. I am going to do it. We're gonna bring Azumarill in the back end. Do we bring Azumarill? I mean, I like Azumarill. Even with, with the uh, sun out there, he can do some big damage with fairy moves. And then last Pokemon, we're gonna go Fluttermane here. I don't know why this looks so good, but I really want it. The Shen Pao Chiyu. Like they're not really benefiting off of each other, but them by themselves seem so strong, right? I just like the first turn priority. Like, I was going to go Dragonite. I was going to go, like, Azumarill for first turn priority. But I was just like, why not go Shen Pao? It would drop the defense. He could Sucker Punch, do some crazy damage. And we can kind of just go from there. So, we're going to we're gonna have a little weird one in match number one. Weird lead for us. They're probably not expecting it. And we're going we're gonna to try to win this one. So, we'll get Torkoal. This is who I thought they were going to end up leading. And I feel like from here, we just Sucker Punch the Torkoal, right? And the reason we sucker punch the Torkoal is, is that's because we don't want it after you to come out here and then to just do crazy damage on me. So, I'm just going to go for the Heat Wave. And I'm just going to go for Sucker Punch. Makes the most sense. It makes the most sense. Sucker Punch comes in hot here. We're trying to dodge some eruptions. And that thing actually soaked up really well after you is coming out here. And that's exactly why we ended up doing that. We have Focus Sash. I think Chiyu should be able to eat up. You opt to go for the Body Press. Okay, never mind. You just dump on me. That kind of hurts the soul. That, that really hurts the soul there. That lead really hurts the soul. Okay. Now we're here. Plan B. Plan B. Plan B is here. We got shiny gold zoom roll, which I love. Uh, Do I just go for an aqua jet? Kind of a little bit. I think I still go for liquidation here. Liquidation in the ice spinner. I'm down with it. I'm down with it. Torkoal ends up protecting. He's going to put one of my Pokemon to sleep, and I wonder who it's going to be. That is the real question. And Sleep Powder does come out here into my Azumarill. So Azumarill slumped. Slumped. 
That's no bueno. That is no good. But luckily, I got the Lumberry. Good old Lumberry. Waking me up. Hopefully, it's Pokemon Sash Sash. If it is, we're just going to Aqua Jet it down. But we can do that. We just take it out. Okay, so not too bad of a turn there. I'll take that. Making us look a little better here. So Liquidation is going to come out here. It's going to get blocked. Let's see what our opponent ends up doing. I really wish my Chi was still here. I really do. I was not expecting a body press from a Torkoal to come out here and rip into me. But it'd be like that. It'd be like that. Like I said, we, we, had, we had a weird lead here in match number one. But hopefully it threw off our opponent. So Dragonite comes out here. Um, huh. Each beat is terrifying, right? We don't like that. We do not like that. Do I Terrasilize into Straight Fairy? No, I really don't want to. I think I just play rough. And... Ah, what do I do? Could Terrasilize Dark here. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna go... I think I'm gonna just protect you. Oh, this is terrible. I think I'm gonna just protect the Zoomerel. And I'm just gonna Ice Spinner into Dragonite. Even though I think Dragonite's gonna Thrasilize here. We're just gonna hold off on Thrasilization and hope that the E Speed is coming into the Zoomerel slot. Because if E Speed is going into Zoomerel, that could be really, really good for us. But if it's going into Shen Pao, that could hurt a little bit, right? We're looking kind of just to get rid of multi skill here. Which I mean, we're gonna pre be pretty much guaranteed to do. We're gonna protect into Azumarill, which we love. And he goes for the E speed into the Azumarill. So not a bad turn there. Not a bad turn. Considering Shen Pao is gonna stay alive, it's gonna get rid of multi scale. I do like it. I do like it a lot. Wow, that actually did a lot of damage. You might not be multi skilled. Flamethrower comes in hot here. We'll sash up. And we shall go from there. Do we think Sucker Punch can KO? Sucker Punch might be able to KO. I'm going for Liquidation here. And I'm just going to go for a... Actually, hold up. Do I Terra Fairy? Mm, nah, I like Liquidation better. I kind of want to stay my type right now. So yeah, I'm just going to Liquidation this slot. And do I Protect or do I Sucker Punch here? Because I could Protect, read the Dragonite Protect. But I feel like we just Sucker Punch to try to get off as much damage as we can. And yeah, that works out pretty well there. Ooh, oh, come on, man. That ain't right. That ain't right. Aqua Jet comes out. Aqua Jet comes out from that. That's weird. That is weird. And that makes me think that this Torkoal could be like weakness policy, right? An Aqua Jet? That is scary, right? That That's weird. Are you weakness policy? No, you're just Citrus Berry. Okay. I feel you. I feel you. So the sun helps us soak up a good bit. Um, I guess we're just going to have to shout Shadow Ball on that. But he's going to end up yawning me, which is no bueno. It's no good. We don't like that. Not one bit. Now I bring out you. So Fluttermane is our final Pokemon. This is actually a really good match. We still have Terra. We still have that lovely Thrasilization. And... What do I do from here? I feel like I just Aqua Jet you to finish you off. And then we just... Could Thrasilize. But I kind of I think we stay our typing. I kind of think we stay our typing. Right? I don't want to Terra just yet. I don't want to Terra just yet. We're going to save it. Give me, give me a hot minute. Give me a hot minute. Because right now, Terrasilization doesn't really benefit us, right? I mean, I think it's Body Press Flamethrower. We want to keep our water typing on our Azumarill right now. Yeah, so Terrasilize isn't really not benefiting us. But right now, we, this is a very close match. I really kind of screwed us over with the lead, right? Leading Chi Yu and Shen Pao. That's definitely a little weird, but he ends up hard swapping here. And he's going into. Who was your final Pokemon that I'm going to Aqua Jet into? It's going to be Shen Pao. That's actually not too bad because I do get to take off Focus Ash here. I do get rid of the Sash if he has it. And Shadow Ball is going to fly here. The Shadow Ball comes out here, ripping into you. Almost KOing. Come on, man. And a Yawn's going to come out onto you. So obviously, the double protect comes out. Right? Azumarill's going to go to sleep. Ah, this sucks. Do I Terrasilize here? I feel like, yeah. Now I Terrasilize my Fluttermane, right? Now I just Terrasilize my Flutz. And we go from there. So both my Pokemon are going to be asleep very, very soon. That might just win them the battle. We maybe just need to wake up quick. So I would love to just Aqua Jet take out you. And then just go into a Terrasilize Dazzle Gleam. Which would pretty much win us the game, right? But he's obviously going to double protect. No problem whatsoever. He just wants uh, my Pokemon to go to sleep. And the double yawn. Do me so dirty. Do me dirty, man. Leave me alone. I'm surprised he opted for that instead of like a Flamethrower, right? I feel like a Flamethrower and a Fluttermane could have been... 
Could have been good, because that might have been able to take out, but Yawn works well. Especially when we know the Oh, I thought double protect was coming out here. You might have just gave us the win. I think they just gave us the win there. I really do, thank you. Yeah, they just gave us the win pretty much. They pretty much just gave us the win. Because now I get rid of Shen Pao, now I get rid of Torkoal. If they just double protect it, my Flutter Mane goes to sleep. And that's exactly why we we waited our terrestrialization too. But hey, they want to not double protect and get the double sleeps real quick. I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day. So Flutter Rain now goes to sleep. Azumarill is asleep, and now they are forced to bring out the Dragonite with like one HP. Once once my Pokemon wakes up, it's GG. I don't know if they can take out a Pokemon this turn. They might be able to take out my Flutter Rain here, but I don't know. I don't know. We're just gonna keep spamming Aqua Jets, going for Dazzling Gleams. Someone's gotta wake up soon, right? He goes for the East Speed, and you are going to take out my Fluttermane. You, no, you go after Azumarill. And Azumarill soaks that. It could soak up another one. Azumarill is slumped. And Fluttermane slumped. Oh, dude, I swear. If he gets a high roll with the, uh, <laughs> with the, uh, what's it called? I'm going to be upset. A high roll with this East Speed to take out Azumarill, and then I'm still asleep. That would hurt the soul. Let's see. He goes back to Azumarill. Cool. No high roll. Can you wake up, please? No shot. Wake up, Fluttermane. Yo, I need someone to wake up. I need somebody to wake up. Do I protect this turn? I'm going to protect you because I know Azumarill wakes up. And he's going to go after Azumarill. I'm protecting. If you go after Fluttermane, that's going to be... A dang shame. Okay, cool. Great read by us. We protect. We give Fluttermane an extra turn to wake up, and that's just one of the game right there. There's no double hitting moves. Fluttermane is still asleep, but now we can double down. We know Fluttermane's gonna wake up, and that protect was just big time from us. So now we Aqua Jet, and now we go through that as a gleam. Game set match. That protect legit just won us the game. It just won us the game. That protect won us the game right there. Two three turn sleeps. Almost lost me the game. Almost lost me the game. Thank you, Fluttermane. Welcome back. You were gone for three turns. The whole world has changed. But Dazzling Gleam comes out there. What a play by us at the end there. Making the comeback. We start off today's video 1 0. Second match coming at you guys. And we're going up against a Ting Lu team with Belly Bolt, Palafin, Arcanine, Amoongus, and Fluttermane. So, really cool team here. I kind of want to get Dox Bun out here. Could be pretty fun. So that's exactly who I'm going to lead. I'm going to lead Chi Yu alongside my boy Doc Spun. Let's get ripping with that. I really do like that. I really do like these two. He also has Intimidate, but Intimidate wouldn't affect you, right? Oh, I like the little bark she does. Because you just have Body Press, and that's based on defense. So, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm all about it. I'm all about a little bit of Doc Spun action. So Doc Spun, Chi Yu is going to come out here. We are going to bring Shen Pao. And last but not least, I like Azumarill here. Nice little water type Pokemon. Has that fairy typing along with it. I can get down with that. I can get down with that. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to go back to back. Got an itchy nose right now. I don't know why I'm itching. The nose is itching. The nose is itching. But that last battle, thank God I protected that Azumarill. I would have lost that match if I did not opt to protect that Azumarill, right? Yeah, because he would just E-speed at my Azumarill. And then Fluttermane would have still been asleep and he would have E-speed and KO'd me. That could have been real. That would have been a bad beat, right? Two three turn sleeps? That would have been a bad, bad beat. Thank God, Jeans. Jeans is clutch like that. I'm all about that. I'm like that. I'm like that. I'm like that. But he ends up going into Belly Belly Bolts alongside with this thing. So special attack is going to be dropped. It's basically neutral because special defense is dropped too. So I'm going to go into a Lava Poon here. Just get Doc Spun going a little bit. And then I'm just going to rip into a Body Press with you, right? And I could yawn too. Hmm. 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 Do I yawn somebody? No, I'm just gonna go straight into a body press. Could yawn belly belly bolt here. But nah, I'm just gonna go straight into I'm just gonna go straight into this lovely lovely little Pokemon here. But I will bake body. I get that defense boost, which is great. Lava Poon chips up some damage. And we get some burns going. A little bit of burn. Just give me a little bit of burn on Ting Lu too. We do not get the burn on Tinglu, but we get the burn on Belly Belly Bolt. Body press flies over here. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well baked body, baby. Parabolic charge coming out here. It does not affect Tinglu. 
Doing a good amount of damage here. Doing a good amount of damage. And from here, I could start snarling here as well. That's not too bad. I might pop out a wish here. Might do a little bit of wishy, but... Out goes my Chiyu. Yeah, Chiyu's not surviving that. And I think that's a fine turn. We got Well Baked Body. I could set up the uh, the boost here. The HP boost. And I could bring in a Pokemon more so like Shen Pao to kind of start cleaning this one up, right? Shen Pao's going to be pretty solid here. I do like me a little bit of Shen Pao action. I could, go to, I could go with Zoom Route, but I do, I do like Shen Pao here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in the Shen Pao. Um, do I place a little Wish here? I might do a little bit of wishing here. I think I'm going to do a little bit of wishing here. But I think this turn, we just take out you, right? And then I just throw a wish. Yeah, we're going to throw a wish in here. We got the defense boost. Let's throw a wish up there. Try to get some HP back. So hopefully Ting Lu just stays in here. And now he opts to withdraw Ting Lu. And who are you going to go into? Because I'm dropping a nice little ice move into this, this slot. Who's it going to be? It's going to be Arcanine. So that's a really, that's a solid intimidate. A solid play by our opponent. Solid, solid play. Ice Spinner's gonna come in here, pretty much do like no damage. I might hard swap my uh my Shen Pao at this point. I'm gonna pop the wish. I'm gonna pop the wish so we get back some HP later. But the problem with yeah, that's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be going into uh a zoom rail here if we want to. The parabolic charge is gonna do some crazy damage. But I have wish coming through here. I'm gonna get some HP very, very soon. I might just body press into Arcanine. Or I could do it into Belly Belly Bolt. Body press into Belly Bolt. Throat Chop into Arcanine. I can't, I get down with that. I could definitely get down with that. So that's what I'm going to do. So I have HP on the way, like I said. Arcanine can't really hit me hard. He can't hit me with Fire Moves. Belly Bolt's not doing any crazy damage. I think we're fine. We'll get that Wish after his turn. I'm waiting on a Wish, baby. I want some HP back. We got Dox Spun boosted. Ting Lu's down low. It's gonna end up protecting the Arcanine, which I, it, I, I can I can deal with that. Let's see how much damage Body Press is gonna do. Throw Chop gets blocked. Shen Pao's gonna take some damage from the Parabolic Charge though. Kind of annoying. Body Press coming in hot here. And I like the damage. Electromorph is coming up here. Hurt the soul. Thunderbolt make my KO. It does. Ooh, Belly Bolt. Ooh, we're in a tough spot. We're in a tough spot. But. Back up to full HP. <laughs> we like that. All right, so back up to full HP. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go into Zoom Rail here. I might terrestrialize Zoom Rail. What a tough spot. I lost my Legends of Ruin Pokemon, but I'm gonna terrestrialize here and just go for a Fairy Play Rough. Right. I'm gonna hope that this Play Rough actually lands, and then just body press into this slot. I might even yawn in this slot because I feel like he swaps right. Nah, no, I'm just gonna body press. See how some plays out here. But I wonder who they have in the back end. I feel like it has to be a Moongus, right? And if it is a Moongus, that could be tough. That could be a tough customer, right? The hard swaps to Arcanine. He is gonna go back in and just sacrifice his Ting Lu. He just wants Ting Lu dead. And he is gonna end up swapping Belly Bolt as well. That is very weird. He going into from here. Your final Pokemon. Let's see who it is. It is the Amoongus. So lovely little Amoogus comes out here, and that's a little tough customer here. So we get rid of Ting Lu. He's going to bring back out Arcanine next turn, and we have a shot at this battle, right? We definitely have a shot. We definitely have a shot, and if anybody's going to win us this match, it's going to be this Dox Bun, because he's just going to start intimidating us hard. Body Press comes to the rear. We say bye-bye to Ting Lu, no problem. And Amoogus is a problem. Amoogus is a problem. We go for the player off here. It's not really going to do that much damage here. It's not doing nothing crazy. It is doing nothing crazy, but Dox Bun's here. Let's see who the Ops going to. It's gotta be Arcanine, right? Yeah, Arcanine comes back out of here. I feel like you just withdraw Arcanine. Mm, this is tough. This is this is a tough match. This is a tough match up here. I'm just gonna go for liquidation in case he doesn't swap. And I guess we'll just body press. I don't I don't really know what to do here. Do we think he protects? There's a possibility. But I'm gonna double down in the slot, because I feel like he hard swaps, right? Yeah. He's gonna end up hard swapping here. I should've just went into the fairy move to get off as much damage as I can. But we're gonna go for the body press, and we're also going for liquidation. We're trying to get rid of this thing. And he opts to go for the spore here, too. He opts for the spore play. Liquidation coming in hot here. 
Burn's gonna KO. Okay, so he's sporing one of my Pokemon. I can Aqua Jet down into the uh, the Arcanine. This is not a bad match. This is not. Oh no! You opt for the Polypuff. <laughs> that that now that hurts. That hurts right there. That's a tough one. That's a tough one right there. That's a real tough one. That's a real tough one there. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna yawn the Moongus. Moongus is gonna be a pain. A Moongus is gonna be a pain. Wow, yo, Pollen Puff just saved its belly ball. That was a great, great play by our opponent. But I feel like this match is just gonna be long and drawn out. But now we're just play roughing. We're ripping as much damage as we possibly can. And I'm surprised he hasn't hard swapped back in Arcanine yet. The charge comes out here. Chipping up some nice damage. Uh, do I set up a wish here? I could set up a wish. And I could just protect the Zoomerel. I feel like he might have to hard swap his uh, Amoongus here. And at this point, I might just go into liquidation. And how much HP are you getting back? Stop it with the HP. This match is wild. Yo, Doxpun's doing good, though. I like the Doxpun here. Why is there's just so much HP being healed up right now? So if I had to guess, he might swap the Moongus, right? Into Arcanine. And at that point, I would rather just go for Liquidation in the slot. And I'm going to send a nice little Wish here. I'm going to get a little Wish in here. And start to get some more HP back. So let's see what our opponent ends up doing. Because I feel like he has to swap the Moongus to stop the... Uh, to stop the yawn, and yeah, that's exactly what he ends up doing. So we're looking to get rid of Arcanine right here, right now. We might not be able to do enough damage, considering we're going to be minus two. We are minus two. So Doc Spun's still in there, getting the Intimidate. Intimidate doesn't really affect me, because I'm, I'm, only, I'm only working with Body Press right now. The Liquidation flies. Can we KO? We do. That's a huge read, Jeans. That's a huge read right there. It's a huge read. He's going to go for another charge here. Now you go straight for a Thunderbolt. Can you eat this? You do eat this. Cool. Dude, love it. Love it. So we get back some HP. Wish is going to put us back to full. And I feel like here we're just going to yawn onto the Moongus slot, right? Did I not get my Wish turn yet? Oh, no. I just wished. I just wished. So I'll get it next turn. That's actually better that I get it next turn. So from here, I'm just going to protect you. And I'm just gonna throw, I'm just gonna throw a nice little yawn. Can I wish on you? No, I can't. That'd be sick. If I can wish on another, an ally Pokemon, that would be really cool. That would be really, really cool. But I end up protecting the Zoomerel. And let's see what Amoongus ends up doing. I do not know what's doing, but I'm putting you to sleep. He might even put me to sleep, which would be wild. Goes for a Thunderbolt into the Zoomerel slot. We block it. And I bet she's put me to sleep. I knew it. You little booger. He's like, if I'm going to sleep, you're going to sleep. <laughs> Come on, man. Trying to make some good plays out here. I get my wish here. And uh, do I set up another wish? So, no, I can't. I'm asleep. Ah, this sucks. This sucks. Okay, so Aqua Jet, we're going to throw it this way. And I guess we'll start body pressing into this thing while we can. I need to be able to take out this... Uh, this what's it called? I need to be able to take out this belly bolt. This belly bolt's a pain. Who would have thought belly bolt versus dock spawn right here? I wouldn't have guessed it. Parabox charge comes out here. Can you miss that? He's gonna get back full HP, aren't you? And you get to take out one of my Pokemon. This hurts the soul. This hurts the soul. Zoom rail, he gets HP from everybody. Come on with that. That ain't cool. Not cool one bit. I need my Doxpun to wake up. So, Amukus is going to go to sleep here. And the only way we win this match is pretty much if we wake up, like, right here, right now. I'm going to have to pop, like, a Wish. Do I Wish or do I just go for Attack? I feel like I have to pop a Wish, right? I feel like I have to pop a Wish. There's just so much going on in this match. Such a good battle, though. Night-night Amukus. <laughs> so, Amukus finally goes to sleep. We get it to go. Um... I'm going to wish. I'm, I'm going to go for a wish. We're going to need it. We are going to need it. So he ends up terrestrializing. What terror type is that? Anything but ghost, right? Anything but ghost? What you got? He's just here for damage. So this is exactly why we need a wish, but 
If we don't wake up anytime soon, it's just game set match. This thing is going to keep ripping into me. Doxbone wakes up. Hold up. So you're saying there's a shot. So you're saying there's a chance. We do outspeed that thing, too. And we're going to hope that Amoogus is asleep for like three turns. T-Bowl comes out here. Leave me alone. Wow. Uh, we should be able to eat up another one. I don't want to waste a turn on Protect. I'm going to say we eat up another one. Because what was I at? Like 120-ish? No. Ooh. Are we going to be able to eat up another one? Do I Protect here? I wish I knew what HP I was at last turn. I think I have to protect here. I'm trying. I'm trying, people. I'm trying. But by the time all this is done, Amoogus is going to wake up. Probably wakes up right here. Yeah. One turn sleep. Lovely. Just, of course. Of course. And yeah, now it's definitely over. Now it's definitely over. That sucks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried. I tried. I tried. But one and one. We're going to run this match. This is a long drawn out battle. Really good battle all around. But look at this. I was going back up to full HP, man. I was doing it. I was going back up to full HP. But yeah, I'm going to just run this battle. This one is wash. There's no shot with killing Amoongus. Amoongus is just going to keep getting after me. It's just it's just a problem. So I'm just going to run this match. We're 1-1 one one for today's video. Let's hop into our third. Look for that winning record. Final match coming at you guys, and I feel like we haven't been using Shen Pao and Shiyu to its fullest potential, but I'm having fun using other Pokemon. We got to showcase Doxmon, Azumarill, but we're hopping into our third and final match. Let's use our Legends of Ruin Pokemon and grab ourselves a winning record. We're going up against an Annihilate and Mousehold team, alongside with Arcanine, Intimidate Arcanine. Obviously, a little bit of a problem. They also have the Titar, Amoongus, and Ting Lu. Hmm. How should I play this one? Obviously, my fairy Pokemon is going to be a beast. I really like my fairy Pokemon. I also like Doxmon here, right? Doxmon is pretty solid. Chiyu is pretty good here as well. So I might go Chiyu Doxmon. I think I really like that. I really like the Chiyu Doxmon. Now I'm going to go you and Azumarill. So I think we're just going to go same squad. I think we're just going to go same squad. I, I, I like it in this match. I really do. Doxmon is going to be super effective onto a few. Onto the mouse hold. The T Tar is going to be four times super effective. And it's going to be super effective onto the Ting Lu. We have the Chi Yu, which can do big damage on pretty much everybody. Can counter the Amoongus. I like it. I dig it. I can get down with it. We also have dark moves. We also got some dark moves. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. So, same team. Doxmon really surprised me at how good it was in that last match. But Belly Bolt and Amoongus just were too much for me to handle. We probably would have won that match if he did not make that, uh, pa uh, that Pollen Puff play. Woo! That was a good play. That was a good play. I was like, okay, it said did it burn. And he read it and he went for the Pollen Puff uh, like before. Which is wild. But he ends up going into these two. Ah. Uh, Alright. I feel you. Um, I could Lava Plume and then just go after a T-Tar, which I'm kind of leaning towards. But I don't want T-Tar to. I think I'm just going to Thrasalize here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Thrasalize and I'm just going to go into this. And Doxbun's going to get after it. Doxbun is going to get after it. I'm just going to go for a nice little body press here. Into T-Tar. I'd rather just dump on T-Tar get rid of that thing. I want to hope T-Tar is not thrasalizing. It may or may not. Lava Plume is going to boost our defense up against these physical attackers, which is big time. And I like it. I like it a lot. So Chiyu with a nice little Ghost Terror. We love a nice little Ghost Terror. Just so rocking. Oh, you end up protecting. How dare you? I was just going to say, just so rocking. Uh, ground isn't super effective onto the fish. But a nice little protect from the T-Tar. Lava Plume is going to well big body us. Boost our defense sharply. And maybe we can get a burn onto Ting Lu. Be big time. No burn. No burn. Body press gets blocked. Solid protect from the T-Tar. From the Tatar. Let's see what he ends up going for. The Land the Fisher? First try? What is this? Come on. Come on, guy. What, what do you want me to do about that? What do you want me to do about that? I thought maybe a stomping tantrum would go into that slot. You Fisher at Chi Yu? Guys, that is, that is ridiculous. That is absurd. You guys can't tell me that's not absurd right there. That's absurd. Definition of absurd right there. Um, okay. So from here. Who do we go into? <laughs> this is just a problem, man. <laughs> Leave me alone. Um, I do have Ice Spinner. Hmm. 
Let's call it could Tarasas here. T Tar. I kind of want to see what T Tar is going to do here. I'm going to go into Shimpal. Wow, yo, really? Lands a Fisher, no problem? I think if he's landing them at that rate, we can just start going after him. I don't know. Hmm. I don't have no terror now. That's just atrocious. But I'm just going to opt to go for the Ice Spinner. And I'm going to hope T-Tar doesn't Terrasalize. T-Tar might Terrasalize. I'm still going to go into the Body Press of the slot, just in case it doesn't. I hope it doesn't. If it doesn't, it's dead. Then my well-baked Body Boy's going to take it out. No problem. But really? A Fisher lands? He ends up just withdrawing the T-Tar. I swear. Yo, if you land another Fisher... I'm gonna be very upset. Be very upset. A move. It's this little booger. Ice Spinner coming out here. How much damage are we doing? We're not KO, but we're doing a nice chunk of damage. Body press coming into you. Doing a little bit of damage. And right, what are you going for? Don't you land another Fisher. Don't you do it. Rock side. Okay. I was gonna say, Shen Pao should be able to eat this one up. Okay, so from here, I'm just gonna go into an Ice Spinner into a Moogus. That should KO if you don't Terrasalize. And then. Body press will come through and pick up the KO onto that, uh, onto that, what's it called? That Ting Lu. Wow, that, that was, that, that was rough. I'm still upset, upset at that Fisher, right? Definitely still upset at that. So we're going to hope no Terrasalize come out here. I'm surprised it didn't just Terrasalize T-Tar. I feel like it's because it's flying and we have Ice Spinner. So we kind of just opted to go into that. But we're hoping no support Amoongus Terrasalization. Bro, we would be thriving if we had Chiyu right now, right? We'd be thriving. I'd be ripping. That's so upsetting. I can't get over it. I try landing Fisher all the time. It takes me like five turns to do it. This person's just like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to land this first try right on your Chiyu and waste your terrestrialization as well. But come on, man. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. That might just destroy our winning record chances, too. We're in a tough spot. He ends up just withdrawing the Ting Lu. And he's going to go into? Go into Titar. Go into Titar. And do not rage batter. Actually, I wouldn't care if you rage batter. It is T-Tar. That's huge. Mm, and you opt to do that. You opt to do that. You opt to do that. Do not rage batter. What a terror. What a terror. No rage batter allowed. No rage batter allowed. Don't do it. You do not do it. Okay, cool. That means body press is going to go into the T-Tar slot. And it should take it out. Rocky helmet. Do me. Mm, hit me hard. Body press should KO. Four times super effective. Yeah, get it all out of face. So, bad swap from opponent. Brings us right back in the game. But great terror from the Moongus. I thought he was just going to terror and rage powder. But he has a palm puffing, and that KOs. Wow. Who would have thought? Shen Pao dying to a Moongus. <laughs> Not me. I would never guess it. But, now that you're fire terror type, I get to bring out the one and only. The one, the only Azumarill here. So I could actually set up a wish here, which I'm kind of leaning towards, right? Could I set up a wish? Just try to get some HP back next turn? Yeah, I get to go into you now. Doxman and Zoomerel have been playing really well today. Really, really well in today's video. A lot better than the Legends of Ruins Pokemon. So from here, if you bring out Ting Lu, I'm just going to body press the Ting Lu. I'm just going to liquidation that slot. The Mooga slot. And that should be a really good turn from us, but... He could also bring out their final Pokemon, which is going to be... Ooh. Whoa there, buddy. I don't like that. Not one bit. Not one bit. I really want to go for a player off, but I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to take out you. I'm just going to... I'm going to pop a wish here. Or do I yawn? How's the speed go? Who's faster? Hopefully the zoom rail is a bit faster. 70. Oh, no, you're not. I'm gonna set up a wish here. Just in case the rage powder comes out. Good call by me. Good call by me. Could I set up a wish on him? Is that possible? I don't think it's possible. He opts for the bulk up. So the bulk up comes out here. That's why I really want to yawn in that. That's why I really want to throw a nice little yawn. I'm gonna drop a nice little wish here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Liquidation should KO. It does. Uh, Tinglu, I'm not worried about because I can just body press it. But Annihilate, yeah, I'm worried about it. It's bulking up. I do have... I do have a few good moves. I can't hit it with the dark move, which kind of sucks. So, I'm kind of just sitting here, and I'm going to start yawning. Right? That thing's a problem. Leave me alone. Uh, 
I might protecting Yawn it this turn. I might just protect my Zoomer and Yawn it this turn. Cause I don't really see him KO in my my Dock Spun, right? I don't see anybody KO in my Dock Spun. Only way I feel like is like the Fisher, <laughs> but <laughs> but they already got their RNG for today's video. They already got it. Ting Lu, I'm not too worried about. We can all special attack. No one's special attacking, so yeah. I think I'm just gonna protect you. And I'm gonna try to set up the Sean. I get HP back at the end of this turn, so. I like it. Protect my little mouse. Alright, so you get a little protect action. This thing's bulking up again. Terrifying, man. No bueno. No good. I swear, if you land a Fisher, I, 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 I don't know what I would do. No shot! There's just no shot! There's just no chance! Two for two? Two for two. Can you wide lens this move? Two for two? I'm losing to Fisher? Two for two? <laughs> Come on, give me a break. Give me a break. Rage Fist coming in here. Can you eat? You can. Give me a crit on this Annihilate. Because Annihilate goes to sleep here. Unless it's Love Buried. And it, it, it probably is. Please don't be buried of Lums. Please don't be Lum Buried. I beg of you. Okay. So he's plus two on defense. We pretty much need a crit here. Two fish? Not one, but two? Not one, but two. We need... We need how much damage is doing? Did we crit? Did we just crit? Thank you, game. Thank you, game. That's what you get for landing two fishers. We just get a big time crit. Thank you, game. Thank you. The game knew we deserved that win. There it is. We get the crit. 2 1 winning record. That last match was just a roller coaster of emotions, but we came out on top, grabbed ourselves that winning record, went 2 1. But Azumarill and Doxbun. MVP over Chiyu and Shanpao. They absolutely tore it up today. I'm glad we got to use them as much as we did, and I'm glad they got to shine way more than Shenpao and Chiyu because you guys are going to be seeing Shenpao and Chiyu probably use every single day here on the channel up until, you know, Series 3 is over there. Just those Pokemon for this series. Kind of just like Fluttermane in the last one and Delibird, or I should say Iron Bundle in the last series. Shenpao and Chiyu are going to have a lot of spotlight. So, again, it was cool to actually showcase Doxbun and Azumarill and do really well with them on the rank ladder. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.